So what you do is simply get the keyboard and press Command F2 and voila as you can see now I'm using my iMac as an external display with my MacBook Pro. Hi everybody and uh, welcome to my channel AVME. Uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use your uh, old iMac like uh, starting 2011 uh, as a, a target display mode so uh, this and target disk mode as well uh, so basically if you've got a MacBook Pro uh, or MacBook Air that supports Thunderbolt and uh, if you've got an iMac uh, that is two 2011 to 2014 uh, uh, 21.5 uh, inch or 27 inch then it supports target display mode and it supports target disk mode and uh, if you've got 2009 and 2010 versions uh, then you have to use a different cable which is uh, uh, Thunderbolt to mini display port cable and it would work so obviously what I have done I've got uh, as you can see right here I've got two Lassie D2 Thunderbolt 2 hard drives so I have daisy chained everything so what I have done from the first hard drive I've uh, or on, on a port 1 uh, uh, Thunderbolt port 1 I have connected it to MacBook Pro and uh, then uh, from first hard drive Thunderbolt 2 port number 2 I have then connected it to the second hard drive to daisy chain it and then I have connected my MacBook Pro to my Dell screen at the moment uh, via taking uh, Thunderbolt uh, from second hard drive going into my monitor now uh, before I uh, go ahead and put the display of this Mac onto iMac I'm gonna show you one thing that uh, the monitor which I reviewed recently the TV monitor it's supporting full resolution UHD 4k resolution with this MacBook Pro uh, with my iMac this monitor TV monitor supports only up to 1080p but with MacBook Pro it's supporting full resolution so I'm just gonna go in info and uh, I'm getting 3840 uh, by 2160 pixels at 30p uh, uh, so it's uh, limited to 30p uh, but it's 4k at 30p from this MacBook Pro onto this Samsung monitor. Okay, uh, now let's go what operating systems I'm using at the moment. On my iMac, I'm using the latest Mac OS Sierra and the version is 10.12.4 which was released just two days ago. So I've uh, downloaded that and installed it uh, on my iMac mid-2011. And the uh, Thunderbolt version on my iMac mid-2011 is firmware version D.0 and uh, the micro uh, firmware version is 1.2.1. The MacBook Pro is running on OS X Yosmite and uh, it's 2.5 gigahertz intel core i5 4 gb ram so first of all what you're gonna need is a thunderbolt to thunderbolt cable uh, version 1.1 or version 2.2 uh, uh, 2. if you got uh, uh, a macbook pro that is uh, that has got uh, 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 thunderbolt version 2 and then you can use version 2.0 cable as well they are backward compatible even thunderbolt 3 which is usb-c it's backward compatible with thunderbolt uh, 1 and 2 now take a thunderbolt cable connect it to your macbook pro and then connect it to the thunderbolt 
port of your iMac mid-2011. So what you do is simply get the keyboard and press Command F2. And voila, as you can see, now I'm using my iMac as an external display with my MacBook Pro. So I'll tell you about the resolutions and stuff. Okay, what resolutions are available on my iMac? Obviously, my mid iMac, uh, mid 2011 iMac, uh, only supports up to uh, 1080p at uh, 60 hertz resolution. So let's just verify if uh, that's the case. So I'm just gonna go to system preferences and obviously now uh, the default uh, for this MacBook Pro is uh, 1280 by 800. This is the maximum resolution this MacBook Pro can uh, produce on its screen. But if you look on the external monitor now on the iMac, let me see what the arrangement is like. Okay, here's my mouse cursor, if you guys can see. Uh, so the display is default for the display, but if I go to scaled, can you see I've got 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 900, 1280 by 720. So these are uh, the resolutions available on my iMac so I can use uh, my iMac as an external display with my MacBook Pro and uh, if I want to do multitasking and stuff like uh, I can just drag any window as you can see right here I've just brought a window here to end the target display mode Get the keyboard of your iMac, which you are using as external display, and then press Command F2 again to disconnect it. And as you can see, it instantly disconnected. And now I've gone back to my own operating system of my iMac. And uh, I'm not using this in uh, target display mode anymore. Now, in order to use it as target disk mode, which is basically if you want to access uh, the hard drive of this Mac, iMac, uh, with this uh, MacBook Pro to transfer files and stuff, you can use it in target display mode, uh, target disk mode. So what you do is just restart your Mac and uh, As it restarts on the iMac keyboard, hold down T key. As you will hold T key, keep holding it. And after the chime sound, just release it. And if you can see now, this Thunderbolt sign appears on the screen. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but this Thunderbolt sign would appear on the iMac, which shows that this iMac is acting as a target disk mode now. So I can access the hard drive of this iMac from my MacBook Pro. Uh, I'll show you that. So if I go here, let me just minimize everything. And here, there you go. Here on the MacBook Pro, like right here, this is my hard drive appearing as well. The first time you're gonna connect is, if you go here, this is the hard drive of my iMac. Now I can do like transfer of data and stuff, or if, if my iMac, uh, like let's say it's it stopped working and stuff, but I want to back up my data uh, and and uh, 
I can I can connect a MacBook Pro via target display mode, access the hard drive, and then transfer all the data to my MacBook Pro or to any other external hard drive, uh, and and uh, save the data. So, guys, this is how you do target display mode and target disk mode with your legacy iMacs and uh, the versions that are compatible the cables that are compatible with different versions I'll leave it in the description and obviously uh, if you guys have any suggestion like why my Lassie D2 Thunderbolt 2 uh, they're not working with my iMac uh, with the Thunderbolt version uh, 1.2.1 or D.0 uh, then please let me know uh, what can I do because Lassie support is not uh, a very favorable in helping me and I'm just doing my research on my own all right guys hope you guys have liked this video and uh, if you have learned anything from this video and you more you guys want more videos like this then please click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this which can help basically a lot of people out there all right guys take care and uh, weekend is just around the corner have fun bye bye see you in next video